Today we will learn about some interesting patterns in whole numbers. Numbers can have interesting patterns. For example, here is a pattern of the whole numbers. It is nothing but an arrangement of dots as triangles. Number of dots which can be arranged as triangles are called triangular numbers. A flock of birds sometimes take the shape of a triangle. Similarly, a fleet of aeroplanes also take the shape of a triangle. These numbers also are called triangular numbers. Can you guess the next three triangular numbers? Try it. It's very easy. If you subtract the next number from the previous number, then you will get this kind of pattern. As you can see, adding 2 to 1 gives 3. Similarly, adding 3 to 3 gives 6. Adding 4 to 6 gives 10. And adding 5 to 10 gives 15. Following the same pattern, adding 6 to 15 gives the number 21. Similarly, adding 7 to 21 gives 28. And adding 8 to 28 gives 36. Let's consider one more pattern. If we look at any number in the given series 1, 4, 9, 16, etc., it can be represented as squares in an arrangement of dots. Therefore, these numbers are called the square numbers. Can you find any relation among these numbers? Think about it. Here, multiplying 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, 3 multiplied by 3 is 9, and 4 multiplied by 4 is 16. Similarly, the next number 5 multiplied by 5 is 25. Following this pattern, you can find the next square numbers. Sometimes we have to do verbal calculations in our daily life. Understanding the pattern helps us perform them easily. Let's see this pattern. In order to make the calculation of 1423 plus 9 easy, 10 is added to 1423 and 1 is subtracted from the result. Similarly, to simplify 1423 plus 99, 100 is added to 1,423 and 1 is subtracted from the result. Similarly, can you solve 1,423 plus 999 this way? It can be solved this way. Can you find any pattern for subtraction in 9, 99, 999, etc.? Just think about it. Here, in place of subtracting 9, first we will subtract 10 and then we will add 1. Here, in place of subtracting 99, first we will subtract 100 and then we will add 1. Similarly, in place of subtracting 999, first we will subtract 1000 and then we will add 1. Similarly, we can observe the pattern for multiplication. Pause the video and try to understand this pattern. Here, instead of multiplying 9, 99, 999, we have multiplied 10 minus 1, 100 minus 1, and 1000 minus 1. By using the distributive property over subtraction, we can write it in this way and solve it easily. Today we have learned some interesting patterns and whole numbers. In the next video, we will learn some examples of patterns and whole numbers.